Kenny's finest. <laughs> Ah, oh, sure. Finest. His finest. Edward Hayden is hard at work in the kitchen this morning and you're making some great meatballs for us. I'm making what is a gorgeous uh, midweek supper. I or just a gorgeous love this weekend now, yeah. supper. This it's really me. nice. And I like it myself, I have to say. It's one of the dishes that I'd like to have and it's real, um, real suitable for kind of a family, but it's also kind of real suitable for entertaining as well. Uh, there's two elements to it, so I'm trying to decide which I'll start with, but I think I'll start with the sauce um, first and foremost. So I've got my pan here, which I have heated nicely. And to that, I'm going to add in some sliced mushrooms and I'm going to add in some sliced onions, diced onions or sliced onions. And I'm going to pop in a little bit of garlic here as well. So I've got a couple of cloves of garlic and I'm just going to pop those in. Have you got chilli flakes? Uh, I have, I have. Oh, they're oh, back, they were gone for, you, they were gone for, for so long. Flakes. They were gone yeah. for so we long. haven't seen the yeah, chilli flakes in a while. Yeah, no, it's back, it's back. It, it's relaunching. Uh, it's relaunching. <laughs> it's yeah. like myself, it's trying to rejuvenate <laughs> itself. Now, that's the onions, mushrooms and garlic. We'll leave those and we'll come back to them in a few minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to make my meatballs. So I've got some minced beef here. And then I've got a selection of ingredients here at the front. The first thing I've got is my three binding ingredients. This is a very easy recipe to remember. So I've got three binding ingredients. I've got some lovely fresh white breadcrumbs. Um, I've also got an egg. So the breadcrumbs will soak up any of the fat and retain it. Yeah, okay. The egg will help to glue it together. And then I've got a little bit of grated cheese. So I'm using a little bit of Parmesan or you could use a little bit mm, of Irish cheddar, lovely. whatever you like. Now, now, Edward, can I ask you about the mince? Yeah. Have you bought really good... I've bought nice mince, but I like there to be a bit of fat in it. I like there to be a bit of fat in it. Because, and then, as I said, the bread comes will dry it up because the fat will give it that nice sense of flavour. Sometimes the round steak mince can be void of fat and therefore yeah. it can end up being a little bit drier. So if you're using that, what I'd say is maybe don't put in the breadcrumbs because you don't want okay. it to, to soak it up I too much. I hate dry meatballs. So yes. do I, yeah. yeah. And these are really nice. So you that's why I've poached them in the sauce as well. Oh. So they're going to be really nice and flavoursome. But okay. if you're going to put in so round steak mince... A bit of fat mince, in it. A bit of fat is yeah. good. Yeah, a little bit of fat is then. good. Now, here what I've got is I've got some freshly chopped parsley. I've got some onion. I've also said to you on the recipe, you can use some diced scallions. Uh, I actually didn't have any, so I'm just okay. using a bit of red onion there today, diced finely. And then, you know, I'm a good fan of my homemade sweet chilli jam as well. But again, can I but say to you... The, into this bit. Into this, right. yeah. Put in a bit of that, put in a bit of tomato ketchup if you don't have that. Or if I can just remind people that this time of year, they will have, like, a whole load of half jars of chutney in the fridge yeah. from Christmas. Yeah. Use one of those as well. Right. Now, I so, that's that. basically that. Can I go back over here to this for just a second? Um, just demonstrating to people at home that the men can multitask. I'm going to put in some <laughs> red wine, just to be some controversial. Men. Some men can. Yeah, yeah, there you have it. Uh, just to balance the feminism. Uh, then I've got my tomatoes in there as well. I've got some tinned tomatoes. And I've said to you to put in uh, three tablespoons of cream as an optional ingredient. Right. OK, that changes the colour. I want you just to look at the colour of that. It's that kind of a dirty uh, salmon colour at the minute, but that will change. I've got when a little bit... Dirty, 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 dirty salmon colour I've there. got a little bit of our egg. Uh, no. <laughs> Listen, it's the right house to be dirty in. <laughs> I've got a little bit of dried oregano and I've got a little bit of chilli flakes as well. And can I just say, that's a gorgeous tomato sauce for anything. Chicken, right. pork, sausages, the cream, pasta, whatever. In, the cream yeah. is gorgeous, but I want you just to look at the difference in colour okay. when it comes out. Now, OK, so back to our meatballs. A little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, pop that in there as well. I have that in with the mince. So just give that a nice little mix around, just like so. Now, obviously, this is suitable for burgers as well, if you want. Mm to make some lovely homemade burgers and we're all going to get, I suppose, that bit more health conscious now in the new year. How many then, meatballs will you get? Now, about this? 12 or 14, depending oh, on the size. Okay. Uh, and is that a pound of mince or more That's than a pound? That's a pound and a half of pound mince that I've got in there. Um, uh, 450, 700 grams. So you go for the big ones? The big I like balls. them a little bit bigger, unless I was doing for tapas. If I was doing it for tapas, you know, I'd go a little bit smaller. But okay. if I'm having it for the supper, um, I would have them just like so. So, uh, I'm going to continue those in a few minutes' time just to show you the effect. Just roll them nicely. The gloves are great because the gloves will just help you to um, not have them sticking. Yeah. If you didn't have the gloves, you might need a little bit of flour. Now, if I can just tell you very simply, 
Once you have all of those done, pop them into the oven for about eight or 10 minutes, 190, 375 or gas mark five, for about eight or 10 minutes. Not till they're cooked, okay. but just until there's like a little bit of a crust on them, okay. just that they've firmed up a little bit. Uh, at which stage then your sauce, you give this sauce about another eight or 10 minutes, pour the meatballs, put the meatballs that are partially cooked only into your casserole dish, pour your lovely tomato sauce on top of them and then stick them into the oven, which Again. is what I have and done. And why, why do you part um, cook them? So that you don't end up, Alan, effectively with what looks like a spaghetti bolognese that the mince will all break up oh, in the middle. It, you know, it could have a tendency okay. to break up. So this up is the way they come out. Haven't. So now I've put them into the oven then for about 20 minutes with or 25. The lid on. With the lid on. But put them in for 20 or 25. If they're in for 30, if they're in for 35, just turn it down. It's not a deal breaker. Right, okay. But just oh. if I can Let's say to you, remember now. what I was saying to you about the colour difference of your sauce. Mm -hmm. Look at that lovely mm -hmm. colour difference of your sauce as well. So there you have it, just like that. You could pop it out onto your serving dish if you want it in the middle of the table. I've got a little bit of parmesan, but what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to bowl these up. Okay. So what I've got is I have a little bit, I'll just move that out of the way. I've got a little bit of spaghetti which I've just cooked and drained. So I'll give you a little bit of that. Now, of course, the tip for the spaghetti when you are cooking it uh, to avoid having to go at it from one end to the other, I break it before I cook it. Just break it in half All right. before you cook it. Do and you know the spaghetti? How do you know it's done? Um, it's like, throw it at the fridge. Is that real? Listen, in our house, we throw nothing at the <laughs> fridge. Throw nothing at the fridge. <laughs> it's all very clean. Listen, well, you just probably cook it like according, it al dente, do you? Cook it according to yeah. the packet instructions, is what I would say to you. <laughs> um, there you have it. About, you know, boiling water uh, in there, it's going to go. Then that's our meatballs. Okay. I have a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. I have a little bit of parsley, which I know you love. And uh, we have a little bit of garlic bread oh, here. Oh, just give us them over there. Oh, oh we're, we're, we're there you have it. Out of time. Lash we're it up out to of you. Time and we're there you have it. You're starving. That. There you go. Now, Tommy. and there's your lovely meatballs. But as I said, bring it to the middle of the table and okay. let people help themselves to it. Now, and see, it should this be is my gorgeous. ideal. Unbelievable. Yeah, Edward this Hayden. is my ideal. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Delicious. Can't beat yeah. that. Now, we're in what's coming up. Because we're going to just. You won't see us now for the next five minutes. I'm getting to learn, Alan. He means it again today. He. Oh, yeah, you mean that, don't you? Mm. Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, I enjoyed that. Meatballs um, are soft, too, aren't they?